giving our honor and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the brothers out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And for the sincere listeners, Brother Obadiah here with another quick, quick sit down. I just want to go in to love and hate and how to balance and uh, just uh, just an example how I grew up in a wicked ass Baptist church you know everybody talked about and the so called pastor talked about love conquers all gotta have love never in my whole life I can remember him or anybody in the church talking about hate you know and, that, and that's all and I just want to bring this out and let you brothers know that don't, don't already know or maybe new to the truth that it's all right to hate. You know, everybody pretty much knows it's okay to love, love, love. But what about hate? You got to have balance in your life with everything. But I'm going to just hit on hate in your life and how it's a good thing. So I'm here to a few precepts. Do a little commentary on a few of the scriptures that I bring out. So hopefully you brothers are edified. And a few sisters that may listen. All right, I'm going to start with Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Right. It's pretty self-explanatory. A just weight is his delight. So you can't just be all one way all the time. I'm going to go to the next verse. Next scripture. I'm going to go Job 31 and 6. And this is Job, Job talking. You know, he was a, he was a man of the Lord. And the Lord allowed you know, the devil to bring him low. But this is what he, this is what Job said. Again, true man of the Lord. Let me be weighed in an even balance that Yahweh may know my integrity. You know, per Proverbs 11 and 1. This is his delight. So Job knew that and that's why he said that. I'm going to go to the next verse. Again in Proverbs. Proverbs got a got a lot of good a lot of good scriptures, man. You can meditate on brothers. You know, if you need to revert back for the brothers that's read it, read that whole book. Good meeting that man. It's always good to go back. You know. You find rest in those scriptures, man. And it's it's the truth, man. Proverbs six. <clears throat> I'm gonna start at sixteen and I'm gonna read down to twenty two. These six things do Yahweh hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speak of lies, and, and he that sow of disc discord among brethren. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thy heart and tie them about, about thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. But I thought the Lord was all about love. You know, in verse 16, these are things that he hates. Christians. See, so you, you think about that. We'll go to the next verse again in Proverbs. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy in the evil way. And the forward mouth do I hate. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, not to love all. Go read it. If you don't believe it, read it. King James Version, 1611. 
for you non-believers out there. And if you don't get it, it ain't meant for you to get. So fuck you. Next scripture. Since we talking about sin. Brother, you brothers know what I'm finna go. This is one of the reasons why they took the pock for out. They, they don't want us to hear this whole truth of the matter, man. But now it's manifesting as playing upon tables. Brock Day Howl by Shem Howl Shai for taking me out of the dust. And all the brothers that's out there, you know, preaching and teaching the word and, and, you know, the ones that are following, you know, that ain't necessarily out on the highways and byways, but are a believer, which I am myself. Sirach 12 and 6. <clears throat> For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keep of them against the mighty day of their punishment. I'm going to read that again, uh, church goers, all right? For the Most High hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. But I thought the Lord just hated Hate the hate the sin, you know. You you done heard. Hate the sin, not the sin. Hate the sin, not the sinner. Well, scriptures don't say that. And who are we gonna listen to? A man's word and his his heart, or are we gonna listen to the scripts? I'm gonna listen to the scripts. Next verse. Going to Psalms too. Psalms got a lot of me too, brothers. If you read it, go read it again. Psalms 5, <clears throat> I'm going to start at 1, I'm going to read down to 6, you know, so we can get context. To the chief mus musician upon Neloth, a psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Yahweh, consider my meditation. Hearken unto, hearken unto the voice of my cry, my king and my power, for unto thee will I pray. My voice my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a power that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. He hateth all workers of iniquity. Next verse. Stand in Psalms 119 and 104. Psalms 119 verse 104, brothers. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Before I got in the truth, I didn't know I didn't even know what a precept was. You know, when I heard it, like, what, what is a precept? What does that mean? You know. Keep watching the videos, studying, you know, and the Lord dealing with you first and foremost, because He gives the increase. You know, you figure it out. And that's how you understand the scripts, man. And it's a beautiful thing. And uh, it's a precious thing to understand. And and I I rejoice in that because not everybody's going to get it. This is a precious gem we have, brothers. Some are more on a level than others. But to get it, even the basics, you know, it's, 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 it's powerful, man. And it keeps you. And it keeps you stable. All right, per the scriptures. Knowledge and understanding, you know, loosely paraphrasing will be thy stability, and it's coming, man, because you know Jacob's trouble. We're pretty much here in it. You know, it's just going to increase. But the brothers that are watchmen, signing and crying, you know, and, and looking for these signs that are spoken before time for our learning, you know, it's we're not going to bug out, man. So it's, it's beautiful. So brothers, cherish it, man. It's not something that you need to be taking like, oh, yeah, I know I'm an Israelite, yeah, block. No, nah, man, it's... You better quit fucking around, man. It's a serious thing. And the Lord is not playing around. And if he spew, spew you out, man, he'll destroy you, man. However he 
wants to destroy you, man. And that is a fearful thing. And I do not want to be part of that number, man. Next verse. Stand in Psalms again. Psalms 139. And I'm going to read verses 21 and 22. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee. And and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. And the people that I have hate for, personally, I have a perfect hate for them. I despise them. They make me want to puke. All right? And I will rejoice in their downfall, man. That's, that's part of the scripts, man. Lucifer, uh, phrasing it again, uh, how a man, uh, it's, it's a good thing to see your enemies fall. Hey, I love to see my enemies fall, and a few that I've seen thus far, it, it's beautiful, right? Again, it's hate and it's balance because I have a lot of love for the brethren, okay, first and foremost, but I have hate also, also. and it's just a righteous thing. And just people just can't get it. But, you know, you get mad at them. Sometimes you get frustrated. But, you know, it just ain't meant for them to, to get it. And I can, somebody that's not that a, that's not a believer will scoff at this video and try to uh, rebuttal it. But, you know, you can't. You can't do nothing for the truth. But, you know, you can't do anything against the truth but the truth. You know, loosely paraphrasing, brothers. Let me stop rambling. Let me get the last precept. I'm going to go Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So it's a time and place for everything. Love, hate, war, peace. Like I said, just the bottom line is about balance with anything. More particularly with the love and hate thing. Since a lot of people think, you know, the Lord is all love. He's not love. The Lord puts to death righteously, old and young, babies, elderly people. And nothing happens by coincidence. It's already preordained your, what your life's going to be. Whether it's be on, on the left, uh, righteousness, on the righteous side, or, you know, just a, or it's still righteous, or righteous indignation. A sentence for all the wickedness, you know, that someone has done. So, brothers, just uh, stay in the spirit and repent. And hopefully you're on that righteous love side. Where you howl by Shing Hao Shai. But uh, don't waver. If somebody has troubled you, it's okay to hate. Hope you brothers edified. Shalom.